CBS 6 News at 5.30 starts now. August is National Minority Donor Awareness Month, focused on improving quality of life across diverse communities. Thanks for joining us here at 530. I'm Julie Bragg and I'm Leland Pinder. 82 Virginians of all ethnicities have been removed from the national transplant plant list after dying so far this year as the need for organs greatly exceeds donations. Our Janine Samuels and Bill Fitzgerald are breaking down the data live from the National Donor Memorial in Richmond. Guys. Julie and Leland, we are live from that National Donor Memorial, which honors those who give life through organ donation. Now, I had the opportunity to talk to Dr. Shamu Ariel. He is the medical director for the lung transplant program at Inova Fairfax Medical Campus. Now, he tells me that anyone can and should become an organ donor. It's a, it's a very altruistic thing. Uh, obviously, uh, I know there, there are people uh, who are struggling with life and death just waiting for organs. And unfortunately, you know, people die and, uh, you know, their organs go to waste. Uh, but, um, you know, they could give someone, many people actually, uh, lives. You know, one, one person can donate several organs to many different, um, you know, recipients and, and save many lives. And although it's easy to check a box or even go online to become an organ donor, the actual process of organ transplant is difficult and even dangerous for recipients. National Transplant List data shows many organs fail within five years post-transplant. 